four standard deviations of pure chaos in the bond market last year. Four. No one's ever seen this happen before. No one ever called for it to happen. And no one will ever see it happen again. You heard it here from your old buddy Josh. Four standard deviations. It's actually almost in the fifth. It's nuts. All right, so what we have here is we have, and this will, by the way, this will be a, a similar thing to my course, Investment uh, Basics for Regular People, that will be released probably at the end of July. All right, so uh, I'm, I'm working on it. So it's just if you like these videos, you're definitely going to like my Investment Basics for Regular People course. All right. So you got two Vanguard funds. We got the long term corporate bond fund at Vanguard, and then we got the intermediate government bond fund at Vanguard. Both have been in existence simultaneously since 1994, so we're using 1994 records. All right. So at the end of 2021, at the end of 2021, the long term corporate bond fund had 8.68% was a standard deviation. Standard deviation. Standard deviation is just a basically volatility around an average, if you will. Now, there's a little bit more to it than that, but that's good enough for government work. So you take an average, 7.12. What's the, the volatility around that? All right. And that's what it's, the deviation around the average, if that makes sense. And how you actually get that is you take the variance and you, you uh, square root that. I'm not going to get that here, but just that's a very good measurement of predicted uh, volatility. Uh, a standard deviation and the volatility on the downside is all that anyone cares about what is my downside risk that's all anyone cares about and a standard deviation is a wonderful tool for this i'm going to show you why i have some deficiencies here today so in this case we say on uh, our average rate of return since 1994 is seven we'll just say seven percent and we would say on any given year if we if we take three standard deviations that's 99.7 percent probability is three standard deviations, and we're just for simplicity, we're going to make that nine. So what we do is we take nine times three equals 27. Nine times three equals 27. So we would say our rate of return would be plus or minus 27, seven plus or minus 27, all right? Because we average 7% rate of return. So we would expect within 99.7% of the time, our portfolio would give us no more than 34% on the up and no worse than a negative 20% on the down. All right, so just keep that in mind. We're the standard deviation. No one cares about this. They just care about this. What is our downside risk? And I would have told you in 2021 that your downside risk for this portfolio is on any given year, you could be down 20%, a fifth of your capital. Would you be okay with that? In turn, you would have averaged 7% a year. That's what you would average. So we'd say you'd average 7% a year, but on some years, you'd be down 20%, potentially, with a 99.7% probability. Are you okay with that? And you say, yeah, okay. And I say, yeah, I'm pretty comfortable with that. All right, let's keep going. That's 99.7% of the time within these metrics right here. And these net metrics are based on what has previously happened from 1994 up until 2021. We're taking, well, that's almost 30 years of a track record. We're saying our 30 years, this is what our average rate of return has been, and this is what the volatility has been, all right? Same thing with the intermediate government bond fund. We would say on any given year, we're just going to move these numbers here a little bit. We'll say, we'll say this is, oops, let me get blue. What is it, blue? We'll say this is five. Hold on a second. Here's blue. We'll say this is five. Oh, my, oh there's my blue one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so in any given year, try this again. That's professionalism right here. This is five, and this is six. We'll just say for simplicity. So what we'll say here is five times three equals 15, plus or minus the average rate of return. And so on any given year, we expect your Intermediate government bond fund to give you no worse than a negative 9% rate of return with a 99% probability of success. So here we had negative 20. Yeah, so we would have say on these two funds, you would have no worse than a negative 20 over here and no worse than a negative 9 over there with 99.7 probability of success. So let me show you something. 2022 comes around. Hold on. And guess what happened? This guy was down 26%. And this guy was down almost 14%. 
2022 came around and everything changed. This guy was down significantly more than your anticipated expected loss would be. I mean, close. This guy was down 14%, again, significantly more than our expected anticipated rate of return on the negative would have been. In fact, it's interesting, check this out. If we take four standard deviations, why is this marker not working well? Let me get rid of the PVC pipe. If we take four standard deviations, watch this, this is crazy. So here we got a, a 5% standard deviation for simplicity and a 6% rate of return. We times that by four, that equals 20. 20 plus or minus six, we'd expect to have on the upside, 26% on the up, but on the downside, this is four standard deviations. Minus 14. And that's exactly what we had. Minus 14. We were basically a freaking spitting distance going into the fifth standard deviation. And I, after 99.7% probability, I don't even know what the, the next one is. It's four, never mind five. 99.9999, I don't know. Here, we're not quite at the, the top end of the four standard deviation, but we're knee deep in it. Isn't that crazy? So watch what happened here, though. I want to show you something here. And by the way, we talked about this on my Locals live stream the other day, and uh, we'll be going on Locals live stream tonight at 8. No, yeah, tonight at 8. So if you want to join our Locals live stream, uh, the, the information's in the doobly-doo. Five bucks a month, be a monthly supporter. Five bucks a month, you get access to right capital. If you're Locals live stream, I have, uh, I gave, I had some free coupon codes for, uh, for our supporters for my new audio book. So if you're, at, if you're into uh, Right Capital and you want to support your old buddy Josh with five bucks a month and you like to be on the live streams, five bucks a month, man. Uh, I try to make it worthwhile to, to send me money, frankly. So we got coupon codes, we got Right Capital. You know, maybe I'll even give discounts to my course, this uh, Investment Beginners, uh, Investment Basics for Regular People course. I probably will. All right, so what happened now is at the end of 2023, our compounded annual growth rate for this guy went from 5.58 uh, to 4.89. And our volatility, our standard deviation, went to 5.13. Wow. So here, our standard deviation was lower than our average rate of return. After one stinking year, all that changed. Our standard deviation it's now higher than our expected or average rate of return, our expected rate of return, our average rate of return that one year. And then the corporate fund was uh, five point. Look at holy smokes! The corporate one fell to five point eight three average rate of return, and the standard deviation went to nine point four. Isn't that crazy, dude? Oh, good. It's you. Very. <laughs> bless me. Very professional. Excuse me, I should say. Well, bless me too. Look at that. Look at this. Look, I mean, look, look, look at the divergence. It was one and a half, 150 basis points between the average rate of return and standard deviation over here. Now we're three, oh, three and a half. It like more than doubled the difference between the standard deviation and average rate of return on that one year. Here, we, <laughs> It went from basically 1% difference with the standard deviation being uh, lower than the average rate of return to now we got a 40 basis point difference with the standard deviation being higher than the average rate of return. Do you not see the potential in bonds? I cannot stress this enough. That one year was so bad it went into the fourth standard deviation category. That's not going to happen again. To happen again, the Fed funds would have to go from, I mean, my goodness, five a doubling to be 10, a double doubling to be 20. So that, it went from zero to five. I don't even, that's not even like, so, so let's just say there's a quarter basis point. The double is 0.5. The double against one. The double against two. The double against four. So we have uh, 0.5, a quarter to 0.5 is one doubling. 0.5 is another doubling. Then another doubling. Another doubling just to get to four. So just to get, right now the Fed funds rate is at five, right? Five, maybe five and a quarter. So we had quadruple doublings to get from 0.25 to 4. Right now it's at 5. It'd have to go to 10, 20, 40. Per, it's just, it's not going to happen, man. Uh, just, uh, come on. Uh, and so if that's not going to happen, and the Fed funds rate levels off, and the bond market, and no, don't forget too, in 2021, 
the bonds fell as well. The, co- the corporate bond fund was down. Corporate bond fund was down 2.38 in the long term. In the uh, intermediate government bond fund is down a point and a quarter. So far this year, corporate bonds are up 3.73, and the intermediate is up three and a half. I just look at this. Just look at that. Look right over here. Right there. Look at that. So down, way up. Down, way up. Anyway, dudes, when you get hit like such a thing in one year that, A, no one expected, and it'll never happen again, I, I, look, I can't guarantee there's upside. But if you're sh- running away from bonds because of inflation, dude, you're so far behind the curve. I don't even know what to tell you. That's already happened. It's already happened. And now we're sitting on, uh, what was I looking at? Intermediate, what was I looking at? I was looking at some Vanguard bond fund yesterday. I think I have it up anymore. Yeah, I don't. Um, I can't remember. It was like four and a half, something like that. It's a 30 day SEC yield, or is it five? I can't remember. I was like, wow. <laughs> dude, dude. The opportunity in them there are hills. And I'm not saying sell all your stocks and put in the bonds. I'm just saying, do you not see the short term upside here? No. But don't forget, if you like these videos, you want to support me, you can buy me a cup of coffee as well. It's in the Doobie Duke. I take decaf. I like my decaf. The three creams, please. Buy me a cup of coffee. And uh, love your thoughts. We'll see you.